What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer, and I'm out here with the Snapchain H823H Plus. So remember, this is the one that we're doing the giveaway with. And if you're trying to get this thing, this is one of the videos that you have to uh, leave a comment on. You have to go back to the unboxing video and leave a comment on there too. And I'm going to have an indoor flight that you're going to leave a comment on. And I think that's the one that I'm going to be uh, drawing from. Remember, only one comment on either of these videos. Each one of them, you can only have one comment. But we're going to check this little guy out, out here. It's not really that windy. Pretty much a calm day. There's a slight breeze going. I'm sure you guys can see the leaves back there moving. We have some trees over there moving a little. But shouldn't be too much for this. This does have three rates. So I did give this little guy a little test flight just to hover and all and fly it around a little bit indoors. So I'm pretty confident that it's able to fly in this light breeze here. But I guess we'll never know until we try. But let's check it out. We're going to fire it up. This battery here has been charged up fully. It came with three battery packs. So let's get this thing in the air. Check it out. I'm gonna turn away from the sun so we can see it a little better. I'm gonna take off from the ground here, I guess. So we have to go up and down on the transmitter to bind it. And let's see. This is the take one key to take off here. So we're in the air, we're on low rates. Let's bring it over here. Oops. And I did the emergency stop. It was going up in the air and I was pulling down on this hair. If you're pulling down constantly, it will turn off. So be careful of that. That's the emergency stop. So let's take off again. And we're probably going to have to go to second rate with it. We're in second rate. That's the yaw. It was getting carried by the wind. That's four yards there. Side flying. Against the wind here. With the wind. Let's do some forward flight. Against the wind. With the wind here. Pull back. Do some backwards flying. We're flying backwards now. Against the wind. With the wind. Okay, so let's switch to third rate. We got three beats from it. So this is the yaw. The yaw is a little quicker now. Let's check it out again. So this is side flying airline. Side flying pitch has been increased. The angle of attack is a little deeper now. Forward flight against the wind. This is with the wind. Let's look at a funnel. <laughs> so that's a funnel there. The wind is blowing it back. So the funnels are pretty decent. The wind is blowing it. So this should, so this should be an excellent flyer indoors. Can handle outdoors. If it's not too breezy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to try its first rate. Let's try to get it in first rate. Okay, that's the yaw. 
It doesn't even do a full rotation before the wind blows it away. So let's try flips. If you press in the right stick, then you can arm it for a flip. It'll beep until you hit another direction to tell it which way to flip, which direction to flip. Flips in all directions. We just did a flip to all directions. Let's see if it'll flip while moving. Kind of hard to do that because you have to press the stick in. But so far, it's a pretty decent flyer, guys. Decent flying. Okay, we do have headless mode on this. Let's try headless. Okay, it's in headless mode now. It holds the heading of the direction that it's facing when you go into headless mode. So we're applying constant yaw and I'm still controlling it. So the yaw isn't fast, but it's definitely doing constant yaw and I am controlling it. My forward heading is still in front of me. Backwards is towards me. Left is left and right is right. So let's come out of that. Okay, the wind picked up a little and he's trying to blow it into the construction yard on me. Okay, I learned this little trick that once it's uh, losing its battle against the wind, you have to kind of sway back and forth and then you can get it to pitch a little more. So let's bring it down a little. So I think we tried everything except for um, it has a return to home. It's not really a return to home though. I guess I should call it one key return. When you hit this button here, then it just flies backwards down the heading. Let's try it. So it's flying back towards me. And it continues in that direction until you give an input on the right stick. So let's try it again. This flies backwards down the heading. Doesn't really return to home. <laughs> so it's, if it's facing the wrong direction, it will just fly backwards down that heading. So that's really not going to save you if you lose control or if you lose orientation. I don't know what they use that for. Why do they keep adding that? But <laughs> and so now, right about now, we're just going to uh, keep flying it and test out it's fly time. We're going to try to document that in this video because this battery, this battery was fully charged when we started. And this transmitter does have telemetry too, voltage telemetry. So when the drone reaches low voltage, then this transmitter is going to start beeping. And it started right on cue. So it shouldn't do any flips anymore. Nope, it's not allowing me to do any more flips. It does have a key here to land it. If you press this button here, it'll land. Let's test that out. And so it landed. So let's take off again. And let's just see how long it's gonna take before it lands itself. And it's landing itself immediately. So we didn't have much longer. So I guess our flight time recording is not tainted really by doing that little one key to land thing. So that's it. Let me stop this from beeping. Pretty awesome little indoor flyer that's capable of flying outdoors with mild wind. <laughs> Better with no wind though. The Snaptane H823H Plus. Pretty awesome. We're doing a giveaway. Don't forget to comment on this if you're trying to win this little guy and comment on the next indoor flight. Thanks for watching.